Hey, Grace and Peace fam, this is your girl here, Ty East. And guess what? I get it. I get it. You're tired of being tired. You're frustrated. Um, you've been deprived of all of the freedoms and the liberties that we've all come to experience and to expect here in the United States. I have something to share with you on it. You know, it's been what, over three months? And it's been hard and a lot of people are feeling it psychologically I've been hearing uh, prayer requests for parents uh, and even friends uh, who have seen their loved ones die at the uh, at the hands of COVID-19 uh, seeing loved ones commit suicide because they're tired of being tired um, it's just been crazy, crazy times. But what you need to understand is that we are in a state of war. We are in a state of war. It is spiritual warfare and is being manifested physically and taking a toll mentally. That's right. We are in spiritual warfare that is being manifested physically and taking a toll psychologically and during this time because it's spiritual warfare um, we don't see it so we begin to attack those things and those people that we can see because we're distracted many of us have always been depleted spiritually because we've so busy uh, been feeding our physical selves and our, you know, just doing and eating up everything that the world gives us that we've deprived ourselves spiritually. And guess what? Now we are in a state of shock. Uh, so what's happening is if you study warfare or you even look at movies that talk about warfare, when they have a prisoner, they capture them. And what do they do? They isolate them from people, right? They uh, deprive them of uh, the basic things in life like food, right? Uh, sunlight, they're in the darkness. And so eventually, mentally, it wears them down. Once their minds and their spirit is broken, they are worn down. And then the enemy can inject them with those things that he or she wants them to believe, to feel, or to act out and do um well so in the natural so in the spirit so that's what's happening right now we really are no matter what the what your faith faith is uh or what you believe we are in a spiritual battle okay we are living in the end of times okay it doesn't mean that life is going to end in the next year or the 20 years or 30 years it can happen but when we look at the scope and the length of time that mankind has been on the earth, we are seeing things have culminated to this place where things are now just like exploding all over the place. And so um, what's ha happening now is that as things are exploding all over the place, uh, we are experiencing because of this now this over three months of isolation okay we can't get out to our loved one we can't busy ourselves we are now in a place where everything that's within us is starting to to just stir up and go all over the place so just think about it if you have a, a bottle of water or you make a lemonade right and you pour the mix in and it's at the bottom when things begin to stir up things on the bottom begin to uh, surface so for many people we are seeing some things that are surfacing that's always been in us but we've never dealt with it's always been there so uh, people who are uh, doing things taking their lives there's were things that was always in them that previously they were able to mask by busying themselves so they didn't get the proper mental health care or they didn't take the proper uh, uh, medicine or whatever it is that they need to do so now when we're in the place where we are being starved 
of certain essential things or things once again that we've come to experience uh, we're seeing a lot of stuff surface so I want to encourage you as I encourage myself when I talk to you I'm definitely talking to myself as well is that you know we turn into a place where we can pray pray develop a relationship with the Creator I'm not talking to you to develop a relationship in religious structures or whatever for those of you like <laughs> religion no get to know the Creator the one who has made us and spend some time uh, praying talking to him so that he can direct you on these next steps because I'm telling you the next couple of years uh, people who have been deprived and and they're busting out of their cells and they are just responding so it's just like a soldier who's been in captivity and he busts out and meanwhile while we were in trust me the news was doing its part and it was like whoosh, throw all of this stuff in our minds and the stuff that was already in us from the media I kid you not TV is crazy even now when I watch movies I find myself with the remote I have to hold the remote because there's a lot of scenes that I do not want in my spiritual self because guess what if it settles in there it's going to manifest so I have to fast forward past a lot of things I like the parts of it but all that other stuff that's thrown out there I don't want that in my system because I understand that if it's once it's in there when hell breaks loose and hell is breaking loose that those things get stirred up and they come out and the enemy tries to trap you Woo! you need to read up on that see how the enemy uh, strikes us on warfare I'm not going to go on with this uh, this uh, little talk here but I encourage you to take some time and build up your spirit build up your spirit turn off the TV uh, get outside take a nature walk and for me going in my backyard like I, I am now is a time for me to reflect to look at the basic stuff or the things that God has blessed us the birds and I love to listen to the birds talk and trust me they talk more than I do um, and just listen and hear what God is speaking um, we need to do that because uh, things are crazy and we're going to see things it's not going back to the old normal It's going to a place where a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that's seated in the bottom of us that the enemy has planted many years ago is going to come to the top and it's not going to be good it's not going to taste good so get your spirit uh, ready so that you can weather it your spirit is almost like a filter it's going to take that the Spirit of God will take that junk scoop it out and uh, help you to be aware of what the junk is to scoop it out and discard it all right this is your girl here I'm about to go and uh, teach my final lesson online today's the last day of the school year for me and then I'm going to get back to some venerations. Hey, I'm going to leave you with a song that my sister sang many years ago. Not the whole thing. And it went something like this. No one knows the time one day when he comes to steal his bride away like a thief in the night all before the morning light he's coming soon better get your house in order he's coming soon tell me will you be ready it won't be long tell you my friend he's coming so soon so soon so soon so soon he's coming soon better get your house in order he's coming soon tell me will you be ready it won't be long tell you my friend he's coming so soon so soon so soon <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Better get your house in order. Tell me, will you be ready? It won't be long. Tell you, my friend, it's coming so soon. I love you. Bye-bye. Be ready.